Our topic is about uh, the natural language inference as a core part of the chatbot. Natural language inference is the task of determining whether a, a hypothesis is true or false or undetermined given a premise. The aim is to determine whether a premise sentence is entailed, neutral, or contradicts a hypothesis sentence. For example, a soccer game with multiple males playing entails uh, the sentence, some men are playing a sport. As a modeling natural language inference is a very challenging task with the availability of large noted data. It has recently become uh, feasible to, tra to train complex models such as neutral network-based inference uh, models, which, ha which has, um, has shown to achieve the state-of-the-art performance. It's very popular. And the next one, uh, before we set up our, our models, we ran some papers. Uh, actually, we ran more than 10 papers, but um, lastly, we just uh, read four papers and reviews. Uh, the first one, we, uh, we researched the learning natural language inference using a bidirectional LSTM model and the inner attention. And the second one is learning natural language inference with LSTM. And then we want to research some data set of the NLI and because we want to uh, further uh, improve our model in the future. And uh, we want to uh, dig out some information of the data set. So we, so we, um, we research the, uh, this paper and review, uh, as view over overview of natural language inference data collection. And then uh, we learned the paper supervised the learning of a universal sentence representation from natural language inference data. Uh, because most of the models is about unsupervised in uh, uh, NRI. So we want to uh, learn some information from this paper to um, dig out the differences between uh, supervised and uh, unsupervised. Then we choose uh, the data description. We choose the um, popular one uh, from the Stanford University, the LNSLI, uh, the Stanford Natural Language Inference. Uh, this this data set is a collection of 570 k uh, human writing English sentences. Uh, pairs has labeled for balanced classification with the labels uh, entailment, contradiction, and neutral. Supporting the task of um, natural language inference. And uh, this data, this data is, um, is known as RGE. Uh, it's mean, it means recognizing uh, texture entailment. This is the uh, this this is the detail of this the data set. And then we, we set the model. Firstly, we uh, extract a 3D word vector from the fixed glove vocabulary. And then we pass the 3D word vector through uh, um, ReLU tra translation. And then we merge the uh, 600 uh, 600 dim dimension sentences together, and then we use the ReLU activation function, and uh, mm, and then we use three uh, soft 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 max to uh, output the uh, solution. Uh, this this architect, uh, architecture is from the paper we we ran. Mm, so, uh, comparing this model and uh, this model from the paper, uh, we have some differences such as the activation functions. And here, we use three, 300 dimension uh, to uh, handle the input data. Uh, firstly, we use H and uh, hypothesis and premise to encode the input data, and then we put the outcome to full, three fully connection uh, layers with the activation function, uh, so the reload. 
Next, we use the softmax function to output the final. Oh, okay. This is the data. Firstly, we should uh, split the data set into three parts, premise and hypothesis and labels. And then we tokenize in the data and set the parameters of the encoding model. Uh, the, um, the parameters we set uh, is from a lot of resources, uh, a lot of GitHub and a lot of the models uh, from other people. So this is um, this is uh, we can we can call it uh, uh, experienced parameters. Uh, then we download uh, download the pre-trained model. The GLAU eight hundred eight four OB and the three hundred dimension text from the GLAU model website to train this. The, this data set like this. So we have the total parameters over 13 million and uh, uh, including the trainable parameters over 1 million parameters and uh, non trainable in 12 million. Uh, the first limitation of the LSTM model was. Uh, it, it used use the single vector representation of the premise, namely H uh, N to match the entire hypothesis. The second limitation is that the model uh, mm, uh, does not explicitly uh, allows us to place more uh, emphasis on the more important matching results between the premise and the hypothesis and uh, down with the less critical one, ones. In order to solve two limitations above, the author in the paper proposes to use a LSTM to uh, match these two sentences. So we just follow the author's uh, minds to, uh, to handle our data set. Uh, basically, this is a good model for the data set. The test accuracy is, one, is 0.81. 81, uh, which is enough for uh, inference and sentences for the realistic problems. However, it is certainly not the best model, but uh, we should make more research to develop and evolve the model to get a better output. And then we put 11 uh, pairs of sentences to do the uh, unit test and show the results uh, like this. Uh, so it's a part of the assignment. So if we if we input the text and uh, ordinance with a package process in front in front of the uh, as advertisement, and we made a uh, hypothesis a main process in form of an uh, M. So we use the model we can practice um, practice the judgment. Uh, the two sentences is uh, entailment. So other one is just uh, like this. Then we made three uh, confusion metrics to help us to observe the models for the training data, validation data uh, for the training data, validation data, and the test data. So this is the uh, training data. The accuracy of training data, is, uh, training model is um, 0.83, and the validation data is uh, 84. The test accuracy is uh, 0.81. So this is the Output of the uh, our model. Uh, so from the outcome above, we can see the uh, uh, the Stanford data set is a mature one to train uh, an RI model, and the model we used to perform performance well for this data. Uh, the accuracy for training, validation, and test is is around one uh, oh point. 81 and 0.83, which can influence a uh, relative better output for the real problems. Maybe we can find a better model to have a better output if we make a deeper search with more data or uh, with more uh, models. And then uh, we make a conclusion, uh, model distri distribution. After training, our task has 
become how to wrap the model into a uh, executable uh, uh, application in order to accept and predict the incoming data. We separate the task, task into two domains. Uh, the first one, uh, we should we should uh, we should keep the data requirements uh, fulfill the standard format format. So this is the format. Fix just uh, the columns, gold label, sentences uh, to categorical, and uh, the value of column gold label in sent to none since the prediction have not yet begin and return. And return the format in much the same as the input. Uh, the three parts entailment, contradiction, and uh, the uh, neutral. And the model files and the utilization, the data input JSON should uh, first be put into the folder and then run a command Python our model and uh, output uh, and uh, output the JSON and wait the application to finish and give the output. So uh, use our uh, using our model we can. Um, we can embed our model into the chatbot to make some neutral language inference. So this is our realistic uh, uh, target of our assignment. So that's it.